Hi everybody, it's Jennifer Hoffman with InSync Training. I'm really excited to share that I was just accepted into a really great professional development program, but as a learner and not as a trainer. It's a blended program with two four-day on-sites, very cool, 16 virtual WebEx sessions on Mondays and Fridays to begin topics and to end topics. There's collaborative group work and there's online discussions. And really it sounds like a great blended learning experience. I'm especially kind of excited about the fact that the course content isn't related to online learning or any type of training development. The audience is other business owners, and that gives me an opportunity to learn do thing, new things and to interact with other people that have very, very diverse backgrounds. It's also kind of great for once to not be the expert in the room. I teach so many webinars and deliver so many conference presentations that it's hard to actually learn in my own field. I find it exhausting to be an active learner in the training development space. But it's been a very long time since I've been a learner in any space. There's a couple things I'm concerned about. One, is this program going to keep me engaged for a full 10 weeks? I know how hard it can be to keep a learner engaged, even the most motivated of learners. Two, since I am a virtual learning professional, I'm worried that I'm going to be overly critical of the program design, of the instructor delivery, and the implementation. So I'm going to be careful and focus on seeing the forest for the trees, not getting bogged down in the implementation of the program. My third concern is at the end, am I going to look back and decide that my time was well invested? As a owner of a business that actually provides training services, I know that the learner experience really matters. And leaving the program not feeling like the time was well spent would discourage me, I think, from future personal development opportunities. Now, these concerns are really very close, I'm sure, to the people that are enrolled in InSync's virtual classroom experiences. So I want to learn from this. Now, the experience so far, it's really early, has been great, though. Some initial observations insists on 100% participation and attendance, which is difficult for someone that owns a business. So one of their prerequisites is to ensure that there's somebody there to back me up, to make sure I can attend and won't be distracted by any emergencies that might come up. After acceptance, that first communication I received was actually a video from the instructors setting some ground rules, letting me know what was coming up. up. And it was actually very engaging. It was casual and that made it better. And another very positive interaction is that the very next step is going to be a technology orientation to make sure everybody knows how to use WebEx and knows how to use Blackboard and all the other educational technology tools. I'm not worried about that. Of course, I use these tools all the time, but it's a great best practice because chances are I'm the only online learning person in this cohort of learners. I'm going to treat this program as a dual purpose learning experience. I need to learn the content, but I'm also going to capture my reactions to the content, the design, the facilitators, and the interactions with my new classmates. I'm going to pay special attention to how I'm reacting to the learning environment, how the online sessions compare to the face-to-face on-site sessions, what did I find engaging? What techniques did the instructors use that I want to emulate in my training? And I'm actually really looking forward from a personal perspective to being a learner in an academic setting again. And by interacting with and learning from smart people that do other really great things. I know that I haven't always been the best self-directed learner. I've got some plans for success. I'm going to commit to not multitasking through virtual lessons and assignments or anything that I'm doing at my desk. Maybe turn the internet off or at least turn Skype and email off so I can get my work done. I'm going to do my best to practice and apply as much as I can, as quickly as I can, to make the content relevant and to make it more sticky so I can be better prepared for the next conversation or the next on-site convening. And I also want to pay attention to all of these other people. It's a great opportunity to interact with the other learners. They're from different backgrounds, and I'm sure there's something I can learn from every single person in the room, not just from the instructors in front of the class. Now, I know you are probably all learning and development folks. I'm wondering what you're learning. Remember, 
if you're the smartest person in the room, try to find another room, at least for a short period of time. Be a lifelong learner. So maybe I'll see you again on this blended learning journey. You can follow along at blog.instinctraining.com. I'll see you soon.